and fit this on that. Thick! <laughs> <laughs> How we fit in this on that? Something Have you ever heard of Makita? Makita? <laughs> Who's that? I'm gonna be our best friend today. <laughs> <laughs> she just named the band teacher, yes? Look at the size of them tires, dog. Oh, I don't even know where to put this. 35. Sheesh. Sheesh. Dog. <laughs> yeah, for sure we know it's not here. You know why? Why is that? I'm gonna tell you what's happening. Actually, we'll be like. What up if I hit Kyle this way? <laughs> <laughs> This is typical tree now, boy. Everybody else is gonna be like, oh, feel it good. Feel it. <laughs> yeah. Wow, it's gonna be really bad, guys. No, for real, though. Yeah. Why Straight have today, so much arms, though? It's, it's five link, you know? Wow, Gucci. Five link in here, eh? <laughs> what do we have here? For like a week, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Grunts. Yeah. 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 So, this is front, that's right? Yeah. yeah. Yes, this is not. Right, it's how this turns into an unbox video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hold Doug, I can't, I, 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 I could never recommend this, but it's bad. <laughs> well, what else was to mean? The price, Doug. Okay. Make it real bad. Uh huh. But the price. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is for certified bowlers only. This is for mega bowlers. Certified baller here. Yeah, this is like <laughs> this is supreme mega ball in here now. <laughs> so this is SPC. Yeah. yeah. This Dobinsons. Yep. What's the difference? Well, casted metal, beefy billet aluminum, just machine out of one whole big block of aluminum. You can see machine marks. Yeah, that's that's hot. So we have one adjustment here. Two adjustments here. Oh, adjustments here as well? Yeah, so this is how you get. So if you send boat, there's camber, you send one, so and for the next one bad. is caster. Uh-huh. And that is basically it. That's sick. Yeah. So it's here. So we begin our build big ass Navarra today. Mm-hmm. What going on here? Everything. Everything. Top to bottom. From suspension to rim and tire to fender flares to everything though. Straight out of the showroom. Yeah. Gucci. Mm -hmm. Wow, no no broke boy zip ties. Nah. <laughs> Actual metal rod to hold it from. Zip ties can't hold us back now. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's real cool. Right, so tell me all the parts we have here because it looks like a lot of shit. Yeah, it is. So <laughs> it is a complete three and a half inch suspension lift from Dobinson's. Everything is Dobinson's from the adjustable front bump stops. We have lifted front and rear springs. We have 3.5 inch IMS front coilover shocks. We have long travel rear shocks, fully adjustable rear trailing arms, adjustable rear pan hard, adjustable billet aluminum control arms. 17 inch method wheels, 35 inch nittos, rough country, um, blinding for the Splash gap guards. in the tray. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else do we have? And an NP300. And a brand new NP300, <laughs> 3,000 kilometers on the clock. Doug, man balling. <laughs> oh, I say, um. Oh shit, V8 engine, Doug? <laughs> <laughs> I said, Devin. Where did you go already? How you have mud in your engine barely? I'm wondering, when did that happen? Huh. <laughs> oh, you're jamming already? Yeah, yeah, from the, the first day I got it. <laughs> oh, shit, this is different. Alright, so welcome back to the KDB TV YouTube channel. I haven't said that in a while. I haven't been interacting with YouTube for a little bit. And I had a good reason for that. As 50% of you <laughs> probably know, I got in an accident with panther and she's in the process of building well she said she should be finishing today of recording this video and i'm in south right now at monster mods they're building a sick brand new 
NP300, like brand new, not even 5,000 kilometers on the, on the odometer yet. And hold on, Tiantec. <laughs> so they are building a big, bad, brand new NP300, and I'm here to record it. I'm just doing like a vlog style recording, nothing too special. But I found I, I thought it would be cool to record because it's a brand new van and they're gonna lift it and put 35 inch tires on it. So let's see, maybe you guys would see my van in this video with the new steel bumper. But we're gonna see how that goes. Stay tuned. So we just figured out that the NP300 have factory navigation. navigation. TJ, we coming. <laughs> we coming, Australia. We're coming, TJ. Where Queensland? I don't know where Queensland is, but we're gonna find it. <laughs> Gulf of what? Carpentaria. Where's Queen Lake Queensland? Lake Disappointment. I live here. What? <laughs> yeah. I live here. <laughs> <laughs> Lake Disappointment. Okay, so TJ, you just meet us right here. Yeah. Just, we, just, just meet us in Melbourne. We in Melbourne. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag shock adjustments. Mm-hmm. Busting out the measuring tape. Mm-hmm. Is this how you set it up right? So it doesn't ride like trash. How much left? Uh three and a half inches. Three and a half inches. Hot boy upper control arm. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. That looks real hot. Yep. A man unboxing his flares here. Because he's going with some white boys. What a setup. Yep. Sheesh. It's gonna be deep. So why are we running spacers now? Is that converter? No, I was hoping because that you would explain oh, that sorry, it's sorry. not a spacer. Take two. Okay. <laughs> okay, so why why are you running spacers? <laughs> because it's not just a spacer it's a converter okay so we go from 6 by 4.5 which is the um nissan bolt spacing to 6 by 5.5 which is a way more readily available rim um bolt pattern right so the particular pattern of method wheels that he wanted didn't come in 6 by 4.5 so okay. he went with a converter so that he could get exactly what he wants nice look at that gucci suspension though This mod. This van mod. <laughs> look at this. Look at not sponsored by Blue Waters, but look at this. <laughs> what are your thoughts right now? Dog. It's beautiful dog. <laughs> dog. Shout out to all the Aussie followers. Yeah, look at this. This is crazy. A brand new van, straight out of the showroom. Yeah, we can reach the tape. Where did it go? Where did it go? Tell me, where did it go? Where did it go? Here we need to do, mate. Three. Literally everybody recording. Yeah, I did not get it.
That is right. That is right. Height, dog. Wow. Dog. A piggy hard. <laughs> dog. <laughs> wow. Race suspension time. Man. I don't think anything could beat that coil cover, dog. Color. Yeah, the teal. Yeah, the teal yeah. is amazing. Shit. So what exactly is going on here? So we are. We... Okay. Yeah. What are these two lovely pieces of? This is a fully adjustable rear pan hard. This is what keeps the diff in place. Um, left to right. That long. Yeah, this one. Right there. So, why is there the need to change this? So, you need to visualize here when you have an arc, right? So, from factory, it should sit fairly level. Mm -hmm. And then when you lift the van, you'll introduce an arc like this. Right. So remember, this is attached to the differential like this. Right. So, when you have, what is it? One, two, three fixed points. And you arc like this, you're going to push the differential out like that after you lift. Okay. It may be very small, depending on how much you lift, but mm. still, to get things perfect, what you usually do is use an adjustable pan hard. It's when you extend it like this and you lift or shorten whichever one you need. Mm -hmm. You could bring this diff back in line with the um, front axle so that your alignment is spot on and you don't have the rear diff slightly off track right. like that. So yeah, that's the importance of an adjustable rear pan hard. All right. Yeah. So yeah, explain to me what the pan hard does. Mm -hmm. What are these other control arms here? that we have right so with the mp300 right it's a five link setup so the pan hard is one of the links and you have four other links that keep the diff in place right when you lift the vehicle the of course you have a change in the pinion angle uh -huh. and these adjustable arms allow you to manipulate the differential and help to alleviate any vibrations that might have been caused because of that change in pinion angle right so we can lengthen or shorten the upper and lower links mm -hmm. so thereby we could twist the diff okay clockwise and anti-clockwise and that will take care of any vibrations that might um come up because of lifting the van okay even if it's very small um we could get rid of any vibration okay so and, it helps yeah and we could dial in the alignment perfectly because this will also affect the rear caster mm -hmm. of the um rear diff which oh. would affect ride okay that's real cool yeah it is nice So it is the next day. Unfortunately, we finished the NP300 really late last night and I went to sleep. I was real tired. Um, I didn't even finish the video. So the time is 7.43 right now on a Sunday morning. Justin picked me up. I know I haven't talked about it much. I haven't posted it much, but I feel like 50% of you know that my van is getting an iron bumper, a steel bumper. And we're going to see it now. It's finished. We're gonna get to talk to the fabricator. Um, everything that was done to the bumper. It's nothing special. I don't really like post my van 
on YouTube that no, much. You only post your van. I don't post you my van that much. Van. Look, I just post Salim van the most on my channel on YouTube. Anyways, let's talk about what's really important here. Which one of your friends waking up at 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning to drive you down Penal to pick up your van? This guy. Only this guy. I really appreciate this guy. <laughs> We're going on to such a trace. Such a. There's my baby. Wow, I haven't seen her in a little bit. I haven't got to drive, drive her in a little bit. But there she is. Wow, look at how good that looks. That Nissan. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> B14 is your way, bro. B14 is your way. B14 is life. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry if the footage isn't too good, but right now I am standing watching my van and I, I'm, I'm shocked. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. I'm real speechless. Before I show YouTube the bumper. <laughs> I want to say big thanks to this man right here. The man behind all the bumper builds coming out of 715441 shop. Manush, introduce yourself. <laughs> again, again. A year later, after doing peanut bumper, you did my, you're doing my bumper now. Introduce yourself. <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Manush Sukdeo. Right. And um, <laughs> um, uh, I just like to. Um, the shout out to Kyle. Uh, thanks for, for giving us this opportunity right. to do this bill. Um, uh, Kyle and uh, Salim were like the, the main contributing factors towards promoting ICDWNF. And it was like a chance to, to give a return to these guys. So <laughs> um, uh, when Kyle came this morning, everything that came out of his mouth was wow. So. <laughs> I can't, I don't even know what to say. I don't even want to show them. I want to keep it a so, secret. In this bill, we, there, there were excitement from beginning to right. end. Um, for me, uh, it was a, a new bill, a uh, different bumper. It had different designs, which uh, I get excited about. And um, uh, halfway down the bill, yeah. Um, a customer uh, called and said that um, you know he wants a bumper like Kyle one. And Already, halfway down I didn't even bill. post this yet. <laughs> did, yes. I didn't even post this yet. <laughs> so there were excitement from uh, customers as well, and Kyle even mentioned that um, someone wanted a Kyle skid plate. <laughs> <laughs> a skid if you plate. see how the skid plate come out, it come out really best. What do you think? We should uh, show them. And wait before. <laughs> <laughs> One more. <laughs> um, never have a customer come here uh, more than once You're to right. see the bumper <laughs> while it's being built. <laughs> so you can see the excitement was from Kyle himself as well. <laughs> right. Because I come in here a whole week during the whole so process. We did like uh, in this bumper, we did like around four to five different um, things that I've never um, done before right. in the bumpers. So. Let's show them. All right. <laughs> Got to put my name into the bumper, KDBA Off-Road. 
Yeah, so how it, how you do that, boy? <laughs> <laughs> how you do that, boy? So, uh, Kyle wanted uh, what what you wanted? Uh, it was KDB and his logo on it. And, yeah. Um, uh, I decided not to go with the logo. Thanks to CNC Streamline, they they designed the the cutouts right. because it was a bit different from your logo. Right. But uh, this um it looked. Uh, way better than your logo though. <laughs> so you might yeah. have to <laughs> Yeah, I might have to think, rethink my logo Yes <laughs> So CNC Streamline, they did a, a very wonderful job in cutting out the logos uh, Together with the vents We wanted to change up the vents a little bit Usually it used to be like a wrong effect Right And uh, everything on this van had like a sharp Like a sharp corner So right. we went that way uh -huh. And it came out really nice uh, to paint, we also clear coat this and um, uh, Kyle wanted a purple, so this is a metallic purple. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> guys, but purple uh, it was the color that came to and my mind. Purple matched the entire van. Alright, Manush, tell me what we have here. <laughs> well, what we did for the first time in this bumper is uh, clear coat. Clear coating. Yeah, this is the first time we did a clear coat on a bumper and it came out really well. The second thing we did was um, indicators. indicator lights. This is the first time we're doing indicator lights on a bumper uh -huh. and this, this I think bring out the whole bumper. <laughs> <laughs> you find so? Yeah. Um, the third thing is uh, these shackle points. Right. Um, yeah, first time we designing something like this and installing it on a vehicle. Right. Uh, the other thing is that the high lift points. This is the first time I'm doing jack and point. Jack and points on a bumper and uh, skid plate. This is the first time we design a skid plate like this uh -huh. to install it on a vehicle. So those are the couple things that we did new on this bumper Manush I must say I, you're giving me a brand new van here to drive home with right now I am speechless wow alright so right now I am very excited I'm driving my van I didn't get to drive it in, a, in like 3 weeks close to a month I'm gonna meet up with um, Shea Brewster, a uh, photographer. He's gonna take some shots of my van. He's gonna be one of the first people to see it get, like, dog, I'm so excited. I'm gonna go by Salim after, and I'm gonna get his reaction of the bumper, which should be very interesting. <sighs> I am very, very much excited right now. Sorry about the bad footage today, but I'm just all over the place, trying to get things in place, and. Right now, we are in front of the Brian Lara Stadium taking some pictures. Shea Brewster taking some pictures over there. I'll jump out and show you guys the van <laughs> in a second in the sunlight. It looks amazing. Shea Brewster Yo. on the scene. <laughs> Yo! That's sweet though. Dog! Hot. That's hot. <laughs> Okay, and some quick pictures. Look at how good this bumper looks. This looks amazing. It taking me back to when we was doing the build series with Peanut. That deja, not deja vu, but I don't know how to explain it. It just, it feels the same as when we was building Peanut. Alright, so we're back in 715 performance shop. Somebody tell you why we're here? <laughs> we're going to get Salim thoughts on the bumper. Well, I'm watching from here and um, I'm vexed with Manus right now. And clear coated bumper, Yes, sir, clear coated. Color match. All the lines and things. So, yeah, we don't know. We don't know when we go and get that, but um, 
You see what I like about Manush, what he do now? Uh-huh. Since he a real up his game, wanna read I- ICDWF? Uh-huh. That um, he has his bender now, so now he makes the bumpers in three different sections now, rather than have to weld all the different pieces together now. Right. So that's one big step in the game there, right? Um, the ox beams looking real nice. Indicators. Check out the indicators. Yeah, the indicators are indicators and a park, right? And, and a daytime running light. Daytime running light, yeah. But I don't think I want to use that because my halo already is a daytime running light. Well, yeah. So I could just use the indicator function. And well, we, had it, we had it played here, but we don't, we don't need to power flip our bracket now because. Yeah, the wind's right there. The wind's right there, so I'm like in the arm, the recovery points. Recovery points here. Looking real nice. Oh, you like my weird purple color? Um, it might grow on me, but I think it should have put it uh, <laughs> in red. I think it should have put it in red because I think your team is red and the black. Someone tell me put it in purple now, eh? Who's someone? In Espanol? Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> we have a KDBA off road cutout and the 715 performance shop cutout. Both just are available from ICDWF. Just link up with you and we could organize and put yeah. it through for your left. Real people and asking for a KDB off road skid plate. And we don't need, we don't need, um, you don't need to say, well, if you could fit or whatever the case is, we need Hilux. I don't know. Any vehicle. Any vehicle. NP300, Land Cruiser. Anything I want, we make. D-Max. Anything. Right. BT50s. So if you were the if you were the collab, the collab braces on them, we could link that for you and all too. So yeah, there's the bumper. I happy with how it come out. Looking real good. My fender flare need to fix. I think two sided tape, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the bumper rated nine and a half. I mean, just I mean, for room for improvement. And Manjula right. man always improving from ever since with my well, the first bumper it was it was three hundred. Right. And everybody has loved that bumper ever since. Yeah. Um, and he just keeps stepping up his game. He increasing in his um his tools. He he making up equipment to get the job done better and quicker and more efficient. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So big up, Manush. That is the girl. Yeah, that is your girl. Yeah. Yeah. But they tell me to sell it, but I don't want to buy it. Yeah. But yeah. Somebody will buy it. Okay, so now that my van is basically finished, all I need is tires really. Yeah. And that is that. We have a few videos coming up. Oxbeam sent me some lights that they want me to review. We're gonna be installing rock lights on Peanut, Salim's van. We're gonna be. You got the RGB LGBTQ lights. <laughs> we're gonna be installing a light bar on Rylan van. And we're gonna check out the 8 gang panel switch that they sent us. It's real cool stuff. Check out Oxbeam. Video's coming soon on that. And we have a big one. I would say a, a real big video coming up. With Peanut, we're going to be installing ARB, ARB yeah. air lockers. We're going to be twiddle up. And um, um, the first time I'm going to install differential lockers on, um, on a diff. I mean, I've, I've rebuilt diffs and everything multiple times. But first time I do that ARB air locker, um, we're going to do the ARB twin compressor with the manifold kit to install the solenoids and stuff. And I guess we just have to wait and see how it comes out also i want to do some testing before and after the diff lock just to see how much of a difference the diff lock makes yeah. off-road and yeah it's a real good investment if you're like serious into the off-road and stuff and which we are trying to get serious into the off-road stuff we're just beginners we're learning i will as you guys can tell from my tiktok videos um cereal and milk helps pay for these bad boys <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned hit that like button hit the subscribe button check out my instagram page k davante check out my, his page 715 for one shop yeah thanks for watching